Hi Taurus, I was getting ready to do your reading and I heard, if you believe it, you make it so. I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> what am I believing? Do I wanna make that so? So the first message that's coming through for you is your mind is super powerful right now. So whatever you're believing about the situation that's on your mind, you're making it so. So this could be good or bad, I don't know. It depends on how you're thinking and what the situation's all about. But we're gonna get into your reading here. This is a general reading, so it might not resonate with you. If it doesn't, that's totally cool. You know, you can check out other Taurus readings. My readings are timeless. Uh, or just click off the channel altogether if you're returning. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love you guys so much and everything you do to help the channel grow. It's been, you know, really taken off recently and uh, that's a good feeling. So thank you for that. Let's see what your support is and let's see what your challenge is at this time. Okay, Taurus, what is supporting? Ooh, we got Arbiter and Wolf. That's pretty powerful. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty powerful. <laughs> okay, let's see what the challenge is. The Alchemist and the Mobius. Aha, if you believe it, you make it so. Dreamer at the bottom. So the challenge here with the Mobius this talks about a cycle, you know, repeating a cycle, a cycle that is long gone, dead and gone. So this could have to do with anything, you know, a thought form, a love relationship, a friendship, the way you view yourself, uh, procrastination, I'm hearing, well, Taurus, us Taurus are 10, you know, we're prone to procrastination, but <laughs> whatever the cycle is, uh, you could repeat it you could make it so if that's what you believe that you're destined for is the repetition of a cycle now sometimes we repeat cycles in different forms so we might have for example a difficult relationship with someone and those same issues reappear in our new connection and that's the same cycle repeating because something hasn't been fully worked out or we could have a different difficult relationship with someone and then in our work situation, those same issues appear. So I feel like if you continue thinking about something in a certain way that maybe is stuck to a pattern of the past, the chances of repeating it are likely here. So your challenge is to break that repetitive thought pattern. Now, if you feel like you're good, you're not, you're got, you're, you're doing real well and you're not repeating any patterns, then maybe this reading isn't for you. But your support here is the wolf and the arbiter. It's bringing something into balance here. And I really love this because this is not necessarily saying get rid of those thought patterns completely. Obviously, they're, they've served you in some way or another or else you wouldn't be doing them. You wouldn't be using them. You wouldn't be um, recycling something if it wasn't useful for you. So it's not entirely that you need to say, hey, you know, why am I thinking about that in that way? That's totally wrong. That's totally bogus. You could still have those thoughts or still have those feelings for someone, let's say, but experience that in a more balanced way in a way that is unique. Unique to yourself, a new way of feeling those uh, cycles. So I'll use an example here. I have a stellium in the eighth house. And so the eighth house is about death, sex, transformation, rebirth. It's a dark psychological house. Okay, and so having like my moon, my sun, Mars, Mercury, personal planets all there, my life has similar themes over and over again, and they always have to do with transformation. And oftentimes that transformation is really fucking painful and difficult. And so I'm gotten accustomed to doing things in a certain way because I'm expecting a certain outcome because I've had those patterns happen throughout my life. 
Now, because this is part of my map, my birth chart, it's not that I can just say, oh, that kind of transformation will never happen for me in that way again. No, it's likely that something will come up like this again to create a new cycle for me. But if I take a more balanced perspective and understanding of myself and why those patterns exist in my life, in my life path, in my purpose, then I can begin to use them in a new way for myself, to create something new for myself. I'm hearing to help others, which is part of what I'm trying to do, absolutely, but I feel like this is a message for you too. Part of your cycle, part of your pattern exists so that you can break it in order to show others how to break theirs or um, use their patterns in a way that is of service to others as well as yourself. So if you believe that your life will always continue in this way that is detrimental to you, then it will be so. If you believe that that you yes, you will have difficulties in life. Yes, you will have challenges in life. For sure, my challenges aren't done. I know that 100%. But I believe that I will transmute and transform any difficulties into energy that will serve my highest good and the highest good for all. Then it will be so. Do you see what I'm saying, Taurus? I feel like this is right here in your reading. It's actually really powerful. The Alchemist card is no joke. When you get this, and it's interesting because I just bought this alchemy deck by Kim Kranz, The Wild Unknown. So maybe we should pull a card from there. Because the alchemist is super powerful. This is the creation of all things, the creation of life, the creation of energy. It's when you bring forces together to create something new. Like tarot cards are bringing, al it's alchemy. You're bringing a whole bunch of different themes, metaphors, symbols together to create a message, right? And so you're doing some kind of alchemy in your life too, Taurus. So remember to look at things through that lens that everything is magic, including your thought process. If you're thinking about something, this is coming to me, so it must be for someone. It doesn't have to be for you, but it is coming in this message. If you're thinking about someone from the past in a new way than you used to think of them, there's some kind of alchemy going on and maybe that alchemy is healing, right? So just because you're thinking about someone from the past doesn't mean you're stuck in the past. That cycle, that pattern is reappearing so you can alchemize it. So welcome it, welcome it. Don't push it away, don't push it down, don't repress it. Just use the energy in a way that you think is more beneficial for you and be kind to yourself you know allow yourself to be a little bit different than what you expect <laughs> yourself to be at times okay wow taurus lately we've been having these readings like i, I remember the last reading i watched it recently and i was like wow that that kind of went i don't know <laughs> beyond what i usually do so I mean, I enjoy it. I hope you do too. Okay. Well, let's pull an alchemy card and then we'll get into the reading. For Taurus spirit guides, summer. Ooh, I like this. Let's see what what uh, she says here about summer. Now, we, I'm recording this in summer, but my readings are timeless. So let's see. Summer. The summer air kisses every crevice of our body, opening us up in ways long forgotten. Lust, desire, laughter, sweat, physicality. These, all, these are all expressions of summer's fullness shining through. When this card appears, know that the senses are heightened and the work is nearing full expression. It may feel as though things are electrified or about to burst. Keep in mind that like all the alchemical seasons, Summer will soon pass. For now, everything in your narrative is fleshed out. 
and the story has just another chapter or two until it begins again, a cycle, a pattern. So now's the time to revel in the ripening and the rhythm of yourself. Celebrate yourself, connect and gather with others. Hmm. So this could be metaphorical too, a metaphorical summer. So maybe something significant happened in the season of summer, or maybe it's time to make something significant happen in this in summer. Have some plan for the summer, or if we're in, if you're in it now watching, then embrace this time as a special magical time. What else? What else do you want to say about summer? I got these charms. <laughs> they really remind me of my childhood. So we're going to use some of these. Uh, I'll link in the description box below the store that I bought it from on Etsy. Let's see. Can we get more for Taurus? The letter Y. So I feel like there's a question. We also have a snake which looks exactly like the snake. It's interesting. In the alchemy card, see it's like almost the same shape. And an angel. Hmm. So snake is a symbol of transformation. And the tree here in the summer card is reminding me of the tree of life. So I feel like something is transforming deeply within you. Your dreams, your dreams, I'm hearing your dreams. You may be dreaming a lot lately. Something is transforming within you to bring more balance to your life, but also to allow you to ascend, to feel more whole, to feel more complete. And that question, why, why did this happen? Why am I here? Why don't I know where I'm going? Any of those kinds of whys that maybe feel a little bit like annoying or frustrating. I feel like Taurus, they're going to turn into um, prompts, really. Like they're going to prompt you to actually create something for yourself. And so instead of being like, Oh, why did this happen? You're going to be like, hmm, why did that happen? What can I do with that? There's so much potential. Potential. There's going to be so much potential here. Okay, let's get a couple more and then we'll do the tarot cards. A crown. Okay. We have a cross and eight. So I'm taking that as eight house. So maybe there's something about your spirituality that you're going to explore. But it's interesting. Hold on one second. This might seem a little out there, but I'm seeing the crown and the cross as symbolic of the union between church and state. And I know that has so many connotations and history and all that, but what I'm actually getting for, from this is that your spiritual beliefs, regardless of what they are, are going to integrate with your day-to-day -day. Like everything's going to be able to flow properly for you. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. Probably not. <laughs> okay, let's get into the reading. Basically, your transformation is one in which spirituality, whatever that means to you, will become highlighted. And it, it becomes like a roadmap for you. Every difficulty that you encounter, you'll begin to ask the broader, bigger question. What does this mean for my soul? What does this mean for my spirit? Not why did this happen to me? Because that's an ego question, right? That's all ego based. Sometimes it's important to ask those <laughs> ego based questions. I wanted to turn it upside down immediately. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes we have those questions. Why did this happen to me? But Really, you're going to start asking about your soul. How is this good? What is the lesson for my soul here in this? Wow. Let's get a couple more on that. All 
right, Taurus. Interesting, interesting events ahead. 15 minutes in, let's do this. Okay, your current energy is the four of pentacles. You're holding on to something, okay, or you're a little bit guarded. And I feel like that's understandable. You're a little bit different. I, I was hearing odd. You're a little bit of an oddball. You're a little bit of an outcast, but I don't feel like that's in a negative way. I'm looking at the wolf card here and I'm thinking about, you know, the lone wolf and how strong you need to be to survive as a lone wolf. But you left the pack, so to speak, whether those are, you know, friends, people, the conventional way of doing things, society, etc., because something was not fair or something was unjust out of balance. So you left some situation to be on your own in order to bring balance back into your life. So you're still a little bit guarded, I feel, because maybe you're a little bit suspicious of those people or how they might throw you off balance again, or maybe you're just not fully confident in your own individuality and uniqueness. And again, it's not like you need to rebirth into a whole new person who's like got a different personality. No, you just use those cycles and those patterns in a new way. So let's, um, I was going to use these, which I don't know, they're spicy. So we'll see what comes up. Tell me a little bit about the four of pentacles for Taurus's current energy speculation yeah you're wondering what's up with that person over there i'm gonna stay guarded because i don't know so you're doing a lot of speculating or maybe someone's speculating about why you're so guarded very well could be the case here we have uh jupiter and cancer so you could be experiencing a lot of emotions at this time an expansion of a particular emotion i'm hearing Again, this, whatever you're experiencing, I'm hearing, please know, please know it's alchemy. And I'm seeing that here with the center. It says philosopher alchemy on it. Your emotions, the guardedness of your emotions, and also how you're feeling about someone or something, you are transforming the energy into what? eccentricity, choice, charity, enterprise. For some of you, this energy is going to transmute into something um, profitable for you with enterprise. But mostly this is like confidence. I feel like this is a higher level of confidence. You're also going to be making choices in your life about who you want to give your energy to. You know, from a place that isn't guarded or insecure, kind of like that, but more of a place that is balanced. Like, hey, you're a little eccentric over there. Look at all you got going on there. Like, what the heck is even going on here? <laughs> you know, it's like... You got a lot going on there. I don't know about that. I don't know if this is something I want to be involved in or give you my energy. So you're going to be balancing and making positive, well thought out choices about where you want to invest here. Okay. So something that's going to surprise you, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Great, because we just saw that with the devil, right? So I feel like that's um, dropping this sense of insecurity. We're having ostentation, status, and achievement. All right, Taurus. You know, achievement is really important to Taurus. And it's not necessarily monetary achievement, although that's great. It's that Taurus, the archetype of Taurus, works really hard for a very long time period of time puts basically all their will into something in order to make something happen whether that's a relationship a job whatever and usually that's recognized and you gain some sort of status for that 
whether that's a long-term relationship or a higher position in the company, what have you, like friends forever type deal, because you've put in the hard work. And I feel like currently or recently, it's like somebody, um, somebody made you feel like you were asking for too much, too much recognition or but it's not, Taurus. It's like you are asking for the appropriate amount of reciprocation of energy, but it's like somebody's making you feel like you're asking for too much, maybe even in a subtle way. Hmm. I don't know exactly what that's all about. Translate it as you need, but that's ending any sense of insecurity or somebody not recognizing your status. For some of you, you're going to gain a higher level of commitment from somebody here, whether that's an employer or your, even yourself. You might start working for yourself here. I also feel like achievements and status are no longer important to you. So even when it comes, and I do feel like something's coming like that, it's not going to be the most important thing because you've broken from the path, right? It's interesting. It's almost ironic. It's like because you started to say, you know what? I don't really care what you think, what they think, whoever, whatever. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do what feels good to me. I have to look, care, I look after myself, take care of myself. That's when the recognition comes in. But when it comes in, now you look at it from a different perspective perspective and point of view. You don't hold it up on a pedestal as some reflection of who you are. Your achievements don't define you anymore. Maybe they never did. Maybe they did for some of you. Yeah. Okay. What's ending? Ace of Wands in reverse. If you've been feeling tired, and I have, I really have. I don't know if that has anything to do with being a Taurus, but <laughs> I've been feeling tired. <laughs> but if you feel low energy or like a lack of passion for something, some of you haven't been intimate with someone in a while. Okay, that's for some of you. That's ending. Okay, so I see a spark of energy igniting. I feel like the determination from you to get up and go and do the things and rebuild yourself, be healthy, or even be intimate with others, whatever you've been desiring, it, like the desire is there, but there's something about the energy level that hasn't been there. And what you need to know about this Taurus is that's completely normal because when you're in a process of alchemizing, that takes a lot of energy, right? A lot of psychic energy, a lot of soul power, so kind of the mundane things tend to fall by the wayside. So don't get too down on yourself for, you know, getting behind on some things here. Maybe you're behind on some housework or whatever, or you haven't been really putting in much effort into a relationship. You know, be easy on yourself. Be kind to yourself because that is ending. You are going to gain more energy. So let's, uh, let's see if anything else wants to be said about this here. Control. Ooh. Some of you have been experiencing low energy because you've been trying to control an outcome. And when you release this control, that's when your energy comes back. It's like you've been trying to push the energy to go in a certain direction and it wants to go somewhere else, probably somewhere much better. Health. Yeah, I keep getting this vibe of like good health and I don't typically talk about health because, you know, we're, we're doing tarot here, right? Let's be real. But I am feeling that revitalization energy. That's beautiful. So you're going to take control of your well-being, your psychological well-being, your emotional well-being, your physical well-being. You're going to say, hey, you know what? I've had my period of doing whatever I needed to do to rebuild, to regroup, to break from the pack, to evaluate. And now it's time for me to thrive. And I truly feel like that's what's going to happen here. Summer, like summer's, summer with health, I feel like that's so synchronistic there. Assertion. 
you're going to get that back towards that oomph, you know, that you have. Okay. The moon in reverse for what's beginning. Any kind of illusions or fears you've had, that's all dissipating. You're going to gain some clarity. Convention and defense. Yeah, see, so you're no longer following the pack. You're not adhering to convention. You don't need to be just like everybody else. That's boring. I feel like you feel like that is boring. <laughs> we have Venus in um, Capricorn here. It's time for to have fun, really. It's time to have fun, Taurus. And then I'm seeing Mars and Taurus, which we're in right now uh, with defense here. I feel like somebody's been very I'm hearing obstinate, difficult to, to deal with here. Very defensive, not wanting to... Maybe this is why you felt a lack of passion because it's like somebody else isn't bringing something to the table. Or there's just been a lack of feel-good energy, really. And you're going to, what's beginning is like understanding where that's coming from and why that's happening. Tell me more. Something's been out of balance here. Queen of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse and Three of Swords in reverse. Ace of Cups at the bottom. I feel like, you know, there's been some processing still going on with you, which is totally okay, right? Remember what we're talking about with the patterns. But you've been kind of going over something a little bit too much here. Hmm. Feeling a little defensive. Last reading too, we talked about your boundaries a little bit. And I had somebody comment, no, boundaries are meant to keep someone out. Because I said boundaries, that's not the point. Yes, boundaries do keep people out. But that's not really why you should create them necessarily. Because you, you don't want to do something, um, how do I say? Because then you're creating something for yourself that's linked to someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's part of, it's like pack mentality. Mm. By creating, if you create boundaries by thinking about, um, in, in the way of like, I'm going to keep this person out by creating this boundary, then that security feature of yourself becomes tied to that experience with that person. Do you know what I mean? And like keeps the energy embedded within your security system. I'm not going to go much further into that because it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's coming out in a weird way, <laughs> but it's like, don't try not to think about it in that way. I feel like you could release some of the defenses is really what I'm trying to say because I don't think you have anything to worry about here, Taurus. Okay? Your advice, judgment. You're guided here. You have made a big decision on something and how you want things to go. Principle with judgment. You have your principle. That's it. It's like, it's not boundaries anymore. It's a principle. It's your morals. It's your principle. It's who you are. You don't have to think about it in that way, right? You've come to a higher sense of um, self. I also feel like some of you are going to come to a decision about where you want to be, like, with who or in what job or in what house or what neighborhood or what country. It's like you're going to relocate something in some way. Could even, I don't know, you're relocating something. Maybe it's even like you're moving things around in your house. Excitement. Yeah, because it's going to bring in some new energy here. Trust your judgment on this situation because what you can manifest in the next couple weeks, coming months, Wheel of Fortune. 
beautiful new cycle. This cycle, this Mobius here. Look. But now, with, with, um, I'm hearing a bravery, with a new sense of honesty and power here, idealism. Let me see here. I see, okay. You're entering a new cycle that's super powerful for you. You're bringing along some of those old patterns, but you're going to alchemize them into new energy. Now, I do see something, and I've been kind of holding this off to the side, even though we're at 30 minutes, because the outside energy is like, I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's coming up here. So I feel like this is coming in soon. You're, this is part of the manifestation. There's somebody coming in that you need to be cautious about. I have caution, bluff, seduction, power, and idealism. Somebody who wants something from you, they have an idealistic idea of what could happen between you. This could even be with an employer. I don't feel like there's an equal power balance and you're gonna be able to detect this immediately. Maybe you have more power and that's not something that's appealing to you. Maybe you want a, a job that where you're, you know, seeing eye to eye, a partnership. You don't want an unequal, you know, relationship, whatever this is. But this person here, it, they, they are going to offer you something and it's a little bit of a, it's a lot of bit of a bluff, okay? They have a lot to say. Be careful because if this person talks a lot, this person's going to try to talk you into something. And the outside energy I have is the seven of cups in reverse, which is all about illusion, two of wands, the 10 of cups and the 10 of swords in reverse. See, I feel like this person or this outside energy is presenting a lot of ideas or options, opportunities or emotions to you, hoping that you'll choose a certain path here. And I feel like they're going to come in telling you that something is like the Ten of Cups, that it's your future happiness, that it has a lot of stay power, that it's something beautiful that could open up for you. When there is a potential here, it's not 100% at this point in this current energy, but there's an, a potential for it to end as quickly as it begins and pretty painfully. So it's not that you shouldn't take this opportunity necessarily. We'll go more into this in the extended. It's that you should make that choice based on your own wisdom and your own knowledge and your individuality, not based on a pack mentality, not based on achievement and status or recognition or any kind of people pleasing, pat on the back, all that kind of jazz that you're done with, right? It's like, don't make the decision based on that. This would be really good for my image. No, 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 no. Or yeah, of course they want me back. I'll go back with them because of that, you know, stuff like that, no ego-based decision-making here, as little as possible. You can still take whatever this is, but make sure you know that it lines up with your principles and your morals and what those are so that you remain in control of the situation. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like whatever this is, is going to be different for different groups here. So I don't want to say too much exactly what it is, but let's, um, let's get one more card and then we'll go into the extended. The sun in reverse. See, it has the potential But there's something, it's like you can't let someone else take control of the situation. You have to remain the strong force that you are here. I feel like there is something good about this. There's something tricky though. Go slow with this. Go slow. Make sure you have a strategy about what you want to do here in whatever this is. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, 
Maybe this is something coming in for you that you're not um, seeing quite yet. Okay, Taurus, if this is where you go, I love you so much. The link for the extended is in the description box below. I'll see you next time.